Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest unofficial build of Lineage OS 21 based on Android 14 onto your Redmi Note 10 Pro and 10 Pro Max phone. So there is an unofficial build which is based on the latest Lineage OS 21 and it's currently in the testing phase. So you might encounter a few bugs and issues. So please keep those points in mind. Moreover, since it is a, a testing build, it also has the GApps package inbuilt. Once the ROM goes over to the official build, the GApps will be removed because as you might be aware, the Lineage OS does not have any Google app packages. But since it's currently in the testing phase, it has the GMS package pre-installed. So as of now, you don't have to install the Google app packages, but the steps will be di different once the official ROM has been rolled out. As of now, the steps are only for this testing build. So let me show you how to flash this test build onto your phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. Again, I'm repeating it's an unofficial build. It's currently in the testing phase. It has Google apps packages inbuilt and you might come across a few bugs and issue. So please keep this point in mind and then let's get started. First off, you have to download Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I have done the extraction in C drive as you could see. And these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, you have to go to settings menu. From there, you have to go to about phone, then go to detailed info and specs and tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back again, go back and go to additional settings. You should now see developer option, go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You might get a prompt, check mark I'm aware of all the risk and now you have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK and with this debugging is now enabled. So you might get an RSA key prompt as well. So again tap on OK in that as well. So let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting this ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So do keep in mind that this will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide on how to unlock the bootloader on your phone using the official me unlock tool. I have also made a video on the same. The video is also there in this guide itself. So you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, as of now, you could skip updating the firmware that is not required for this test build. But still, I will recommend you to make sure that you are on the latest OS version. For that, simply go to about phone. And from here, you could verify if you are on the latest build or not. If there are any pending updates, then simply install that update right away. Just to be on the safer side, please make sure that you are on the latest OS version and the latest firmware build as well. You could also refer to my guide on how to get this job done. Anyways, now moving on, you will now have to download the Lineage OS 21 based on Android 14 for your phone from here. So it's been made by XGA senior member Aryan. So all thanks goes to him. And again, I'm repeating, it's a testing build and it comes inbuilt with GMS packages. Once the ROM goes official, the GMS will be removed and then you will have to manually flash the Google Apps packages as you always do so for Lineage OS ROM. So as of now, you could download the ROM file from here. Once you have got the ROM file, you will have to transfer it onto the pure PC. So let me sh show you in this link, there should also be a link for the recovery file as well. Just a minute. So as you could see, this is the ROM file for our device and this is the recovery file. So download both the ROM and recovery file 
and as you could see it's the gms package wherein the google mobile service it has all the g apps inbuilt so download the rom and the recovery file from here and once you have got both this file you have to transfer them to the platform to folder on your pc so let me do so this is the rom and this is the recovery file the rom is in a zip format whereas the recovery is in the img format so with this we have got both the rom and recovery file now you will have to rename the rom file to just rom so that the complete name becomes rom.zip it will now be easier to type in the cmd window likewise rename the recovery file to simply recovery and it will be become recovery.img so with this we have got the rom and recovery file inside the platform tools folder and now we could move ahead so next up you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so open the cmd window and just type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now boot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait for a time frame you will then see a fast boot keyword on your phone as you could see from here so now what you have to do is type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide and get this job done once you have installed the drivers use the windows x shortcut keys then choose device manager and now expand the android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as android bootloader in interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signifies that your pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead so now since our phone has a recovery partition we could now directly flash the recovery file which is the linux os recovery to the recovery partition just make sure that the recovery file has been named to recovery img and is there inside the platform to folder once that well and good you could simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window so the recovery file will now be flashed to the recovery partition and it will only take around 8 to 10 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and with this the recovery has been flashed so let's now reboot up our phone to the flash recovery so type in fast boot reboot recovery and your phone should now reboot to the linux os recovery it will again take around 8 to 10 seconds so let's just wait for that time frame and as you could see we are now in the linux os recovery and at the top you could see it's the version 21 which is based on android 14 so now we are in the linux os recovery and first and foremost you will now have to do a format data do keep in mind that doing so will wipe off all the data from your phone so make sure that you have taken a backup beforehand once that is done simply go to factory reset and select format data factory reset and again select format data and it will now wipe off all the data from your phone once that is done you will get a data wipe complete message at the bottom left once you have done so your next course of action is to side load the rom file onto your phone so first let's boot our phone to the side load mode so go to the recovery home screen and select apply update then choose apply from adb and now your phone is in the adb side load mode let's verify the same so type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting the side load keyword so this signifies that our phone is now in the side load mode and we could now side load the rom file for that you just have to use this command again make sure that the name of the rom file is rom.zip and it's there in the platform tools folder once that's well and good simply copy paste this command adb side load so let's do that as well adb side load and the name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter and the side loading of the rom will now begin and it could take around 6 to 10 minutes so let's just wait for the side loading to complete so guys in the cmd window the progress bar might get stuck at 47% that is completely normal and nothing to worry about you could keep a track of the flashing from your phone at the very end you will get install complete with set as 0 and in the cmd window you should get the total transfer 1 into so all these signify that the flashing is now complete and since i have told you as of now the rom already comes in built with the google app packages you don't have to flash the g apps and you could now reboot your phone to the os by tapping on reboot system now on the other hand if you are watching this video a couple of months or a year later and you have to flash the apps then in that case you will have to reboot your phone to the recovery and after you have rebooted to recovery you could then side load the gf packages using the adb side load gf command 
just make sure to place the GR package inside the platform to folder over here and then use the same ADB side load command to flash the GRs and then you could reboot to system. But as of now, the ROM comes inbuilt with the G GMS package and GF packages. So as of now, you don't have to flash Google Apps. So after flashing the ROM or side loading the ROM, you could now simply boot your phone to the OS and simply skip the rest of the process, which is not required as of now. So once the flashing is complete, just tap on reboot system now and your phone should now boot to the newly flashed Lineage OS. Do keep in mind that that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and as opposed to all the other Lineage OS build, since this Lineage OS build has Google Apps and packages, so the first time loading will again take some more time because all the other Lineage OS builds are vanilla in nature. They don't have any pre-installed Google Apps. So it will now load the OS and after that it will also load the GMS packages. So at the very max, it could take up to a couple of minutes in rare cases as well, or it should boot in 30 to 40 seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame, and then we will check out the result. As you might be aware, the Linux OS is a stock clean and stock UI with a very few bare minimum customization. It's mostly based on the pixel UI experience with just the basic customizations, if any. Anyways, as I've told you, the first boot up might take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and, and nothing to worry about. And this is the first test build of the Lineage OS and it's unofficial. So you might occasionally come across a few bugs as well, which is again quite normal because in the beta testing phase, you have to come across. It's quite obvious that the bugs and issues will be there. So with that said, let's wait and as you could see we are now in the lineage os recovery sorry the lineage os rom has been booted so let's tap on get started and you are seeing this screen just because of the gms package if we if the rom did not have the gms package then you might have not seen the google setup screen you might have to then flash this or side load the g apps for this screen but as of now since the rom already have the gms we are able to set up our phone quite easily so with this, we are now in the Lineage OS 14 ROM. Sorry, it's the Lineage OS 21 ROM based on Android 14. And you could now check out. It does not have any customizations or UI UX tweaks as such. It's the bare minimum. Just let me show you the UI and UX. So this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And it's the latest Android 14 version. As you could see from here, the build number is Lineage OS debug. 14 test keys is so it's currently in a testing phase so guys on that note i round off this video just keep in mind that as of now i will not recommend you to use it as a daily driver because you might encounter a few bugs and issues but if you are if you want to try out this rom then do share your experience with us in the comment section below and let us also know if you have any queries with regards to any of the flashing steps and thanks a lot for watching